I'm in my ASVAB party, people. So, we're looking at a word problem, and I want to know, have you ever looked at something like this and said, I think I might know how to do this, but I don't know exactly how to set it up. I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding what pieces go where. So, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and guide you through this step by step. That way you can understand this and kind of relax a little bit when it comes to working with word problems. Here we go. So, the first step is, no matter what, remember, we always want to read the question first. So the question is always going to start from who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. You know, that's where we want to start, not the actual information. And that's going to be right here. How many hours did she read? And it's you know for how many hours? Either way, grammatically, whatever. So for how many hours did uh, Lisa or this person read? So what I know is that if I'm looking for how many hours, that's a time frame. So I'm looking for you know blank hours reading. Now, just because there's a time involved does not make this particularly a distance rate time problem or, you know, something else. You know, we want to make sure that we get all the facts so we know how what we want to find is related to the information that we have. So let's go ahead and take the next step here and look at the information we have. Nice and easy. So let's go ahead and get to it here. It says, hey, in purple, uh, Lisa is now on page 483 after being on page 99 last week in her new book. If Lisa read at an average pace of 48 pages per hour, then for how many hours did she read? Okay, let's take all of this information down and understand that this is not a distance rate time problem, although you could frame it as one, but this is better suited for a y equals mx plus b or a linear equation. And I'll show you how in a second. Let's write this information down, I got you guys. So here, number one, in step two. Number one is now on page 483. So now page 483, Lisa was on page 99 last week. And then you see that there says an average pace. Now, what does that mean? So average pace, that is a rate because you see the phrase 99 pages per hour, or excuse me, 48 pages per hour, excuse me there. But that is a rate given to you. So again, like I said, you could potentially set this up as a distance rate time problem if you know what to do with the beginning and end. But you could still set it up like one with a linear equation. And so let me just prove to you that you can by reminding you of the formula y equals mx plus b. So remember, if you've seen any of my videos on linear equations before or been to a live class, for just a reminder for you, Remember that B is the beginning, Y is the end, and X is how long it takes to get to the end. So how long we're talking about, you know, the, the time frame we're talking about. And M is your slope, or in English, your rate. MX, your slope in math, is your rate in real life. So if you didn't know that, write that down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up this problem. I'm gonna show you exactly how everything we have fits right in. So if you take a look here, boom. So we're looking for blank hours reading. So a number of hours right there, we're looking for X. Now, what else do we have? We see that it says we are now on page 483. So boom, that's where we end at, that's the Y. And then boom, next up, it's right here. We were on page 99, that's where we began. And then we are also told that we are reading at a pace, again, of 48 pages per hour, right here. So 48 pages per hour. So that is the pace, that is the rate, and that is right there. So I hope you see how everything fits nicely right there into the formula. And all we have to do is plug in what we have and solve. That's the beauty of knowing how to set up linear equations because the majority of the questions that you'll deal with on the ASVAB are exactly that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get into it here. We are going to plug everything in. So we had 483. That's where we are at now. We had 48 pages per hour. We don't know what X is because that's the number of hours. And then we began on page 99. So let me just move this over just a little bit. And then we say plus 99. So with that said, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solve this equation and we're done. That's it. So remember, if you like the way that we're solving this or if you learned something, leave a comment so that more people can find our videos and we can continue making more because we know you like it. So with that, 
Next up, we're going to solve this equation. We want to find x by itself. And so what I'll do is I'll get that 99 out of the way by subtracting 99 on both sides. Now, if you're sitting here already thinking, man, I got to subtract 99. I don't want to do that. You don't have to. You can also just go ahead and take away 100, then add one back. Mental math trick. If you're in my program, you know what's up. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just take away 100, add one back. So 383, 384 instantly. Boom, that's 384 equals 48x. Now, what we're going to do next is divide both sides by 48, and then we're done. So, booyah, divide by 48, divide by 48. That's going to cancel out on the right side, leaving us with x by itself on the right. Whatever 384 divided by 48 is, that's going to be our answer. So, at this point, you can do a couple of different things. You can quickly look at the answer choices to see if you can guesstimate what 384 divided by 48 might be. In my opinion, I can take a look at this right now and say, hey, B and D are absolutely not going to be the answers because 48 times 10 is 480. So 11 would be way higher than that. 14 would be even higher than that. Not going to work. So with that, it's going to be between 6 and 8. And I can definitely say that 8 is closer. And I know that if I go ahead and do 8 times 8, it ends in a 4 for 64. So that's another guess that I can take and be correct about it. But if you want to know how to do the actual division, you can do long division or partial division. Let me show you how partial division works very quickly. And if you like how partial division works, then you're going to want to go ahead and sign up for my program. It's free for a full week, no credit card required. You might want to consider that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and divide first. This is how partial uh, division works. You're going to break it down. So instead of dividing by 48, I can divide by 8 times 6. Because 8 times 6 is 48. And then I can divide by one at a time. So if I divide by eight first quickly, I can go ahead and do this over here. 384, eight into 38, that's gonna go ahead and be four. So minus 32, six, four, 64 is eight. So we have now, this becomes 48 divided by six. And so 48 divided by six is equal to eight. Boom. And we've proved that the answer is C, but there it is. So remember, my party people, this is a linear equation word problem. You need to know how the equation y equals mx plus b works. And if you want to go ahead and tackle problems like this, that not only try to find the x, but also finding the y, finding the m, finding the b, knowing how to actually set up the equations or pointing out which equations are the right one, then you're definitely going to want to get into my program. Again, it's free for the first week. So you don't have to put in a credit card at all. And that's the beauty of it, because we know that we are among the best ASVAB programs in the nation. And we are absolutely happy and excited to prove it to you. So right now, go ahead, scan that QR code up here, go to that link, and then text me once you're done introducing yourself so we can keep acing the ASVAB. I'll see you in the next video.